Thank you for looking at this short introduction of Hyperworks. I'll first be looking at how we do things today, like doing searches, looking up in references, and emailing information from web pages. Then I'll show you how we do that with Hyperworks. The way we interact with the web today is through links. As you can see, there are many links on the right. Links are usually blue, of course. There's hardly any links in the main text on the left. Let's say I was interested in searching the web for this text here, PlayStation 3. What do I have to do? I have to copy that, go to the Google toolbar that many browsers have, paste, enter, and there I go. Nice and simple. Let's go back a page. What if I want to look it up somewhere else, like Wikipedia? Then I have to select it, copy it, type in Wikipedia, paste that in, load, and here you go. If I find this is fascinating and I want to email someone, I maybe copy the introduction, go to my email program, make a new message, go to the body, paste in what I have, go back, copy the address, go back to the email program, paste the address, go back, copy the title of what this is, go back to the email program and type it in. Something we do many times a day, it just takes a while to do. It's important to note a few things about web links. Web links are very useful. It's because of web links that we have the web. It is the main manner that we navigate the web. However, these links are pre-written. Somebody has to go through the text and say, this word will link to this page and so forth. And they only link to one place. If someone has a link to apple.com, that will go to Apple's website. It cannot then go to Apple's Wikipedia entry or anything else. Of course, this video is about telling you why Hyperwords is good. So let me show you now a web browser that has Hyperwords enabled. If I want to search Google for PlayStation 3, the same text as before, I select it, I get this Hyperwords menu, and do search Google. It searches Google. Let's go back. If I now want to search Wikipedia, I select, go to references, Wikipedia, and it's there. The email that you saw just now, that we all do very often, let's see what that's like with Hyperwords. Select the text, then you do email immediately, opens your email program, enters the subject, the text you selected, and the URL in one click. Other things we can do include copying the text with the address, not just the text itself. Um, you can blog if you find that this is a really fascinating PlayStation 3 article. They want to tell your friends about it. You can blog this using WordPress or Blogger. There are many other features, such as translations, looking up on maps. Uh, you can tag if you're into tagging, printing, just the selection of text, save your paper. Uh, you can also go through lots of other references and a whole bunch of search engines, including uh, new search engines. The key difference between the way the web is today and Hyperwords is that with the web today, you have been dictated where you can go. You can only go somewhere where someone has written a link. With Hyperwords, you can go anywhere you want. So you can jump from a page to a dictionary. You can do translations. You can go into an email program, you choose how you want to interact with the text, giving you far greater capabilities.